<clears throat> it happened on some piece of land that is very, very flat. There was this huge warehouse. Like I say, there were lines of airplanes, lines of bombers, lines of, like, every aircraft just in one big, massive warehouse. Like I said, I had, I had relics from every time period, all the way from Egyptian time to Rome. I mean, to, to, um, to present day. There's this massive warehouse facility just... People said, as far as the eye could see in that direction, practically, you could see a lines of aircraft and lines of cars just sitting in this giant warehouse. M line models, as far as the eye could see, when, the, when they opened up the, uh, uh, up the doors, because, one of them, because some of the models were hid. Some of the firefighters grabbed the models and ran off with them because they knew what they were going to do with them. Um, and a couple of the cars were taken out. Um, anyway, I think, I, I think they might have taken the cars out to share with themselves. They said, well, he's not going to need them. Um, all the cars were, were in running condition, just add gas. Um, the, the engines were run dry, and then you just add gas, and then you start them up and drive them out of the warehouse. Replace the battery, whatever. Anyway, lines of cars. Of, of, of one car, one or two models of that car in, in these warehouses. Lines of aircraft. Um, even, even live ammo display, display cases or display, you know, pile, crates. Far as the eye can see, they, they, they said these warehouses were massive and, um, and almost called because Hitler had saved them. Um, you know, this goes back, the saving of, of the relics goes back hundreds, thousands of years. So Kennedy comes into office, gets into office as president, and he goes to visit these warehouses. These warehouses, like I say, there's about 20 of them, and they're each a couple miles long on some great big flat piece of land somewhere. I think maybe in the desert. I'm not exactly sure. But there's miles of cars, miles of ships, they, they, they actually take the full-size ships and they ship and they put them there and they actually had the ships out there. <laughs> like I say, you know, I mean, humanity has known who I, you know, and there's also that triangle, that, that pyramid that's also somewhere that's literally seven miles across and up. So Kennedy comes into power as president and... He goes to visit these things. Anyway. So, yeah. So he's a civilian, and he's in power. And I'm not exactly sure when the when this actually starts, exactly. Basically, like, like, like the submarines were put on display, too. Each, every, every submarine that, that, that Germany ever built. In a warehouse, on display. High and dry. Uh, in its concrete bunkers, you know, just like concrete supports in a warehouse on display, as far as the eye can see. Anyway, so, yeah, anyway, stacks of photographs, they said. They said there were stacks. There were crates of photographs all put in this warehouse, as far as the eye can see. Like, they created them up, they stored them all for me. They said, they stored them all for you, everything. They stored everything for you. They knew who you were. They knew what you were. And they had, them, had it all in a warehouse in crates. It was all there. They spray fuel over the warehouses using aircraft. And then... Candy. Or someone. Because it comes down to me versus them because I'm ordering investigations into these these actions. And the Kennedys think they're more powerful than me. So they burn the warehouses. They burn them all. Torch them. I'm like, nope. He's not going to be in power anymore. We're not going to leave any record of him. So they burned them. And I hear about it. 
they say they're burning the warehouses. What should we do? I said, well, try and put them out, but, you know, don't get hurt. You know, because, like, you know, I mean, <laughs> I'm Lucifer. And then people start saying, well, they're going to kill you. Kill one person, and you'll be famous. Anyway, everybody in Germany, everybody in Russia, everybody around the world, they know what it means. They're burning the warehouses with the, with the photographs and the um, and the ships. But the ships don't really burn, you know. I mean, they're solid steel. It's like, <laughs> well, it didn't really affect the trains that much, they said. You know, uh, the cars burned, yeah, the aircraft's burned, but... So, yeah, I'm a child and I'm told that they're burning my warehouses with all my models, with all my aircraft. I'm like, why are they doing that? That's kind of strange. Anyway, um, some people, they do get one of the warehouses put out and they do stop the burning of them. And some of the crates of so the photographs don't all burn. So there's some stuff that makes it to the fire. Anyway, this is Kennedy. This is um, Carter and... And Nixon, and this is also what they're pardoning themselves for. And then the bombing of Berlin happens because they hear about because they're trying to find me, so they bomb every city that they think I'm in. They've already burned the warehouses, so they, so then they just have to kill me. But they don't know who I am. They just have a name. So. Anyway. So this is what happened somewhere between 1880 and, and 1900. I'm told of the burning of the warehouses. I'm told what they're doing. And, and then they start the execution camps, the death camps. Trying, be, well, like I say, Kennedy and Carter and Nixon, they don't want an investigation. They... They don't want, because, because like I say, they were doing this whole media thing, trying to, what's called, and they thought it was working. And they thought this and that. And then all of a sudden they realize, and I'm like, no, there's an investigation, you're going to jail. And Kennedy and Carter and Nixon are like, no, we're not. <laughs> so, anyway, so they burn the warehouses, they start the execution camps. Like I say, this is America. This is, um, like I say, the, the, the allegations are completely true because America is the youngest country. And they start doing this whole thing where, you know, it's, it's them. Everyone, everyone even says, it's America. It's your presence. It's them. They're doing this. They're the, one that, 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 they're the ones that are ordering the people into concentration camps. We've, we've saved as many as we could. We made records that, that these people were killed when they weren't or something like that. They tried to... My people were like, we know what's going on. It's obvious to us. We're here. You know, we see the orders every day. They pass power deaths. You know. So, and my people were like, but they have the planes. And those people over there don't know what's going on. So, and they've locked down the borders. You can't get communication through. You can't even talk about it or else you get shot. So anyway, that's what I'm hearing of the past and what's going on with that. So I'm just like, oh, shit. You know, they're like, well, they're going to take everything and kill you. You know, so anyway, like I say, this is the, the, the administration. This is the president's, you know, this is, this is basically, I guess, Kennedy day one. Um, so, I guess, I mean, you, you can go to, go to Germany. I mean, I mean, they'll talk about the warehouses that were burned and they shot the, 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 the people that, that, that tried to put out the fires. They're literally shooting the people, anyone who tried to put out the fire, they shot them. The Japanese tried to put out the fire. Other people tried to put out the fire, but they couldn't because they shot them. They finally, I think, bombed one of the warehouses to put out the fire. It stopped the rest of the, of the warehouse from burning, at least. Some things were saved. Or something like that. I heard about it. It was bad. 
And this is the beginning of what is known as the concentration camps and the death camps.